G'day, g'day, fellas. I am Lazebeam. Welcome to a game called Plague Inc. This is a game about creating a virus or like a deadly disease and wiping out humanity. So, I, so I'm very excited. Ah, uh, you can create a bacteria, a virus, a fungus, uh, a worm, a a fucking monkey virus. What? Now you may notice my glasses, okay? That's because I want to seem smart. Because I'm speaking about bacteria, viruses, and fungus. I want you guys to think I'm clever. So with glasses on, I cannot fail. Uh, unfortunately, all I've played is the tutorial, so I can only use the bacteria. It's kind, it's kind of boring, I know, but it's all we've got, okay? It's all we have. Alright, so I'm going to use the bacteria. Con continue, there we go. Uh, yeah, I can insert different genes and stuff, but unfortunately, I don't have anything unlocked. So yeah, unfortunately, very boring disease, okay? But we'll make it. We'll make it something special. Uh, select game difficulty. Uh, despite the glasses, I'm really fucking stupid. Uh, I could do casual. Nah, I think I'll just do normal, okay? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I think I'm just gonna do normal. And now I can name my plague. Hmm. Hmm. What do I want? The British. Yeah, there we go. The pommy bastards. Always thought of them as a disease. <laughs> uh, quickly, I don't hate the British. I hate being called British, but I don't hate the British. Without you, there's no Australia, so you're all right in my book. So, so if you live in England, don't, don't dislike this video, please. So yeah, let's see if the Queen and the British can wipe out the human race, okay? It is gonna be the return of the British Empire. They're just gonna fuck the world. Okay, welcome to Plague Inc. You are a new bacteria. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Now I did play the tutorial, so I kinda know how to play, but I'll do my best to explain it. Uh, so I have to pick a start location. Well, that that's pretty obvious, isn't it? We're gonna start in the UK. Bada bing, bada boom. The British are gonna start by taking over the UK. There we go. The British begins in the UK. The British has infected its first human. Weak, but used to cold temperatures. Wow. Way to describe the British. It must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. Okay, so yeah, I get DNA points down here. I get those over time and by clicking all the bubbles that pop up, okay? And once I get enough, I can go into this, you know, into this beautiful menu, and I can actually give it upgrades. I can give it transmission upgrades, so I can make it spread via rats, via pigeons, via sheep, via mosquitoes. So yeah, I can make it more powerful, and I can make it spread to more people, and then once it's spread to more people, I can come into this, I can give it symptoms, and symptoms are what actually kills people. I- I can give them, like, hemorrhoids and diarrhea and stuff, I think. Yeah, lots of- lots of fucked up shit in here. That's lung cancer, really? Really fucking lung cancer? That's fucked up. So basically, it's like an RPG, where we're gonna murder the entire human race, okay? We have to strategically build our disease. Okay, look, there we go, I got some more DNA points. I'm gonna wait a bit to upgrade, though. Uh, as you can see, five people. Five people infected. Oh god, looks like the UK is getting some pimples on it. That's not good. But I keep getting DNA points. That's beautiful. Uh, my plan is to... is to infect as many people as possible. I'm trying for the full seven billion. And then once I've infected everyone, I'll add a bunch of really fucked up symptoms like diarrhea, hemorrhoids, make their eyeballs explode. And hopefully that'll just wipe out the human race in one go. Airplanes use new sterilization air filters. Oh, okay, so throughout the game, they're trying to combat me, okay? And little things like doctors and, you know, sterilization, that stops the spread of my disease. But the more, the more transmission upgrades I get, the harder it is to stop, so let's buy our first one. You know what, let's start with rats, okay? Oh, I actually have a phobia of rats, like that's my worst nightmare. British rats. Are you fucking serious? No, oh, the world is fucked now. British rats in top hats are taking over. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I really, I'm really curious how the British are even going to kill people. Are they just going to feed them tea and crumpets until they explode? I honestly don't know. The Queen's a fucked up lady. I imagine she's going to cook up some weird stuff. So, yeah, eventually, the more infectivity stuff I get, uh, like the mosquitoes, the rats and stuff, the quicker it's going to spread across the globe. Okay, got to just keep collecting DNA points, uh, grow my disease. What, what are these pop-ups? I don't care about university controversy. Okay, look at the world move. The world is flying along. Slowly but surely, the UK is hitting puberty. It's getting some pimples going. And uh, more and more people are getting infected. We have 27. 28. Fucking hell, it's flying. You know what? Let's, ev let's evolve the d d d disease a little bit more. Uh, let's make it spread through the air. Why not? You know what? I think we start speeding it up. Let's go two times. Oh, look at that fly up. People are just getting wrecked. Anemia symptom mutated. Oh, so my disease can just mutate by itself. So it actually just developed one of these things on its own. I hope that doesn't start killing people. I don't want people to start dying yet. I want to infect the whole bloody planet with tea and crumpets and top hats before I start killing people. Okay then, let's uh, let's get it spread in a bit quicker. Let's keep up with the rats. There we go. More British rats in top hats. It's it'd be adorable if it wasn't deadly. Oh, looks like India just got infected. Look at that. India's getting some pimples. India's going through puberty. I can actually go to like I can go to the country menu, so it just highlights that one country. Eight people infected, 1.5 billion healthy. It doesn't matter, man. Once you get a couple of British in there, you're fucked. <laughs> okay, 5,000 people in the world have been infected. Holy shit. I guess India is just like full of disease, man. Oh, man. The British are coming, fellas. The British are coming. Oh, it's in Brazil. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, let's infect some third world countries, fellas. That's the key to spreading disease. Oh, 120,000. Insomnia symptom mutated. Oh, shit. I don't know if this is good. It keeps developing stuff that's going to kill people. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I don't want it to keep mutating, okay? Look at look at how fast it's spreading. Oh, no. Oh, no. Australia just got infected. I just watched that happen. What has the world come to? I can't. I can't deal with this. I've got to keep clicking these bubbles, though. I need more DNA points. <laughs> Poor Australia. No. Oh, look at those pimples, Australia. Oh, you're so screwed. Oh, now China's got it. The British rats are going everywhere. Oh, look at this. There's so many bubbles popping up. I've got to keep clicking them. Let's keep, let's keep developing my disease. Uh, how about birds now? Oh, yeah. Now we've got some British pigeons. That's terrifying. Oh, ha ha. New Zealand just got infected. Fuck you, New Zealand. Oh, yeah, the world's getting absolutely destroyed now. 27 million people infected. New minor disease spreading. Oh, it looks like they've discovered the British. It's very important that no one starts dying because otherwise they'll start working on a cure, and that's very bad. Holy shit, look at China. China is so screwed. Ugh. Oh, man, get to a doctor, China. Get to a doctor, China. Oh, that's nasty, man. That's nasty. Oh! The UK starts working on a cure. The fucking British! You just can't win with the British, man. You just can't fucking win. H how is the UK going to cure the British? Are they just going to collectively jump off a bridge or something? I don't know. H how's that going to work? But I honestly don't think they stand a chance. So now they're working on a cure. I'm going to get full, like, drug resistance. They're not going to be able to develop a cure. It's not happening. Oh, look at China. China's been absolutely destroyed. Oh, yeah, man. Look at that. The Queen is taking over. The British are going to rise again. The world is fucked. No one has died yet, but 1.7 billion people have it. You know, Ebola could learn a lesson from this. Don't start killing till everyone's got it. Uh, <laughs> the UK shuts down airports. I think it's a little bit late for that. Mate, don't you think? I, I think the world's I think the world's pretty fucked. <laughs> it's too late for any of this shit. America is screwed. Canada's gonna be screwed. 
The British are coming. The British are coming. Three billion people infected. Holy shit. Oh. Nausea symptom mutated. Okay, I don't think that's going to kill anyone, so we should be okay. Look at Russia. Look at Europe. Holy fuck. Oh my god. That is... No one deserves that much British, okay? USA leading global effort on a cure. How do you even cure the British, though? All right. It's called, it's called revolution. And if anyone knows about that, it is the Americans. Look at that. It's a blue plane. They're battling the redcoats. This is poetry. This is poetry. <laughs> the world is completely fucked. Four billion infected. Still no one has died. My plan is working beautifully. I'm loving it. Almost there. Almost the entire world infected. Tumors have developed. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, and no. Now people are starting to die. First death in Sudan. Oh, this is not good. The world isn't infected yet. Like, we should be okay. We should be able to infect the entire world with the British. India begins to break down. Holy shit, this is going wild now. Sorry if you can't keep up. People are dying. Uh, Two million dead. Holy shit. The world is almost fully infected. It's all gone according to plan. Everyone is fucked. The Queen's master plan has taken off. Her and her bloody corgis are going to rule the world. Now let's just make the thing kill everyone. Let's add a bunch of diseases and symptoms and shit. There we go. The British now causes total organ failure. That's what a diet of tea and crumpets does to you, I suppose. The world only has 26% on a cure. They're not going to be... They're not going to be able to do anything. It continues to mutate. It's only getting worse. <laughs> oh, look at it. The red coats have won. Oh, now, now the rest of the blue is done. There are no healthy people left in the world. Mission accomplished. Not even the Americans and George Washington can fucking save us. The world is fucked. The queen has won. Bow down to the wrinkly old prune. Oh, the world is screwed. Two billion people dead. It's just getting worse. Let's just make the disease even worse. Just because we can. Yeah, fuck you. Let's make them go insane and have dysentery and... Pretty sure... Yeah, dysentery just makes you shit yourself. Haha. <laughs> oh, man. That's got to be brutal. Not only are they dying, they're also fucking shitting themselves. <laughs> and there we go. The final humans. I really wanted to stop at one to show, like, the Queen's the only one left. But maybe even the British is going to kill the Queen. Who knows? That's the world done. Victory. The British have successfully eliminated all life on Earth. Well, that was a fucking amazing adventure. <laughs> you, know, you know, I feel kind of conflicted. I created the British, wiped out the human race, but you obviously know how I feel about the British. This feels so weird. Because even Australia died. But wait, if I created the British, does that mean I'm the Queen? Look pretty good for 90 fucking 2, don't I, fellas? Anyway, fellas, that was a fun game. Uh, I don't know if I'll play it again. It's up to you. Belt the bloody like button. God save the queen. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. You're all a bunch of bloody legends. And as always, cheers, fellas.